okay so this is the 25th question from uh, hcv exercise of kinematics now it is said that a stone is thrown up with an initial velocity of 28 meter per second so this is the stone and it is thrown up with an initial velocity of 28 meter per second from the ground as the acceleration due to gravity is acting in the downward direction so i must take it negative okay now in the first case it is asked maximum height reach so we know that as the stone will go up the upward journey will end when the final velocity becomes zero when the upward velocity becomes zero it means this is the maximum point or height where it can reach and this we have to find so i can say at uh, maximum height velocity becomes zero okay now by using this i can apply v square is equal to u square plus 2 a as the third equation so this is zero is equal to this is 28 ka square and this is 2 into a into s that is the displacement from initial to final point right now here is the maximum height so on solving you will get maximum height as 28 into 28 divided by 20 and now 2 tens are and 14 za. now if you multiply in the rough 28 into 14 so 4 8s are 32 3 carry 4 2s are 8 plus 3 11 plus 1 8s are 8 and 1 2s are 2 so this is 2 9 and this is uh, 3 okay so the maximum height reach is 392 meter but because of this turn it becomes 39.2 meter okay now in the b part they said find the velocity one second before reaching maximum height so obviously one second before reaching the maximum height so i can say as the acceleration is minus 10 meter per second square that is after every one second after every one second uh, the speed is decreasing by 10 meter per second so after every one second as the speed is decreasing by 10 meter per second then before reaching maximum height uh, i will write one second okay so one second before reaching maximum height it must have velocity of 10 meter per second see as the object is thrown up suppose an object is thrown up with 30 meter per second and it is uh, the acceleration is 10 meter per second square that is after every one second velocity is decreasing by 10 so tell me when you throw an object at t equal to 0 so what happens at one second the velocity becomes it, it will reduce by 10 so it becomes 20 after next one second it becomes 10 and after one second obviously it becomes zero now if you change the speed if you make it 40 again the acceleration is 10 meter per second square it means speed is decreasing by one second after every one second 10 meter per second so again after one second you will see the velocity becomes 30 meter per second further after one second the velocity becomes 20 then after one second it becomes 10 and then again after one second it becomes zero so every time you see one second before the throw the velocity is always 10 that's why there is no change in the answer before one second it is always 10 thank you